Hi everyone, and guess what? I bought a timeshare. Yes, I traveled to Las Vegas in March of 2021. Me, my sister, my cousin, and we had got stopped at the airport at the information desk. And a guy asked us if we had wanted some travel, free travel tickets to the museum, the wax museum, and um, like ask us what type of stuff did we do. So we were like, yeah, of course. And then he asked us, did we want to go to see a presentation of a timeshare? So I've heard of the timeshare presentations before and how other people had got like free hotels. Okay, so they stopped us and asked us, do you want to take the uh, presentation? And the presentation would be two hours if we paid $10 per person and the third person was free. So we did it. And um, we got the confirmation. They gave us a call. We got the confirmation to come at as early as 9.30 a.m. Okay, so we went out and we were ready to watch the presentation and everything. And we were ready to say no. That is what they told us. And we were already um, familiar with the timeshare. So what happened was is that we went ahead and went to the timeshare meeting at 9.30 a.m. And it was absolutely wonderful. The place was absolutely beautiful. I mean, Las Vegas was awesome. The resort was beautiful. It had a bowling league inside. I love bowling. I love movies. It had a movie theater inside. That's one thing about it is that I love movies. I love bowling. I love bingo. The bingo um, jackpot was a all-time high of like 39000 at the time that we were just touring so right away i wanted to play bingo i wanted to go to the movies there were up-to-date movies that were uh playing at the time um what they told us when we got back it was about an hour tour walking around so one thing that we did notice was that they told us to put our cell phones away so we were unable to even look up what timeshare meant and what you know what is the process of buying the time shares things like that so we got back to the um conference room where everyone was sitting and there were uh of course crowds of other people sitting there having their presentations too um one thing we did notice was that all of the salesmen were uh seniors and so within about uh two hours after the tour and we got back and um he was going over the prices with us he called over a young woman um i'll say her name was um michelle and michelle came over and she told us that because of the coronavirus that they had a lot of foreclosures that were going on within the timeshare process so the um home or the timeshare that they wanted to sell us was about nine thousand nine hundred and compared to the $28,000 price that she said at first, I thought that that was such a great idea. And um, she went on and on to tell me how much of a good idea it was. And right away, I bought right into it. And I was just like, wow, I could take my family. Uh, I'll rent this out. She was telling me how I would be... Yeah, so she said that I would be almost my own travel agent. I can rent this um, one bedroom out for two forty nine for one week, and mine would be free for because I had got the uh, thirty six week, and that I'll be able to um, rent out my week and any other week that if someone else wanted to go on another week within my even years that I will be able to rent that out for the two forty nine a week and I'll be able to charge more which I thought was such a great idea so uh, we I said yes this is great so we went and we had to go behind and sign all the paperwork and everything and one thing that I did notice was that while we were electronically signing our initials the top of the forms when you're looking on the computer, it does. Once we got all the paperwork and everything, he uh, took the paperwork and printed it out, and then he put it in a combined folder with everything that you would want to read 
once you get back to your hotel room and everything, either the hotel room or once you got back to your uh, place of home destination. And so, of course, I wasn't going to read it once I got back to the hotel because it was about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And it just took so long. We were just ready to go and enjoy the rest of the day. So, what happened was, that was on the 20th of March. On the 24th of March, I said, let me... I was at home and I said, let me go over these documents. While I was reading the documents, I noticed that on the top... Of the documents that I had pre-signed on the computer had that I had up to five days in the state of Las Vegas to cancel the time sheet. and because I had five days that it was the 24th and it starts on the following day that you signed the contract so it didn't start until the 21st I had until the 25th at midnight to uh, mail off my documents so I heard up wrote a letter because it had inside the contract was a cancellation form i it had specific words that you had to use like i hereby uh revoke or i hereby rescind this official document and it has to state certain uh contract things that you have to put in there in order to rescind the document so i hurry up and did that the next morning, I woke up and took it to the post office, and off it was. I felt so good after that. And yes, so as I was going over through the contract, I did find some flaws in the contract. Before I signed that contract, they told me that I had until April 2nd to cancel the contract. That, number one, was a lie. It was actually five days from the day, no matter if it was a Sunday. My first day started on Sunday, and that day counted. It also said that I was going to pay two o eight per year. On that contract, it stated that after my first year, which was started the next year, and I was on the even years, that my yearly payment was double. Just like that. So the interest rate was up to 17%, which I have good credit, and I thought that that was extremely high. And if I paid it off at a certain date, like uh, between before 30 days, I will get a big um, discount. If I didn't, it will go up to 17%. I will be paying $20,000 for that timeshare. So guys, I'm not saying that timeshares are bad or are good. I myself just uh, went over the contract and I saw some flaws and I had noticed that they weren't allowing us to get on our phone so that we can do a little bit of research. And you have a pressed amount of time to say yes or no. They don't give you a week. They don't give you uh, the next day to decide if you want to do it. It's either you have to decide right away if you want this timeshare. Um, it just seemed like such a good idea. And I really love the resort. But I'm so happy I got out of my timeshare by sending my rescind letter thanks guys i hope this helps bye